What are the difference between the Stoger gangs, the Peaky Blinders, and the 21st century gangs? Slugger gangs are were individuals that were quite young. They mm -hmm. were involved in um, a lot of industry work, a lot of labor work. They were merchant uh, workers, they were machinery workers, and they just loved violence. Okay. They used to work um, in the city center, and they, as a result of their work, formulated groups and would often fight with like-minded individuals, mm. with individuals that were a mirror image that were working in another factory. Mm -hmm. So there wasn't much business attached to their violence. It was just pure, pure violence. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beating each other up. Okay, okay. The Peaky Blinders, however, enjoyed violence, mm -hmm. but they were quite commercially driven they oh. were entrepreneurial mm -hmm. they realized that they needed to make money um and 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 by making money that would give them power mm -hmm. to do bigger and better things they would be able to take over more land they mm -hmm. would be able to set up more enterprises so they were very business minded mm -hmm. and they were involved in horse racing okay so they um initially started off as an illegal betting Mm. group who would take bets from individuals in the local community on mm. horse racing and then they became legitimate and then they realized that they had competition in london mm -hmm. uh, billy kimber and his gang and this resulted in them being involved in conflict okay so that's the difference between sluggers and peaky, and blinders. peaky blinders okay now the 21st century yep. organized crime groups tend to be quite international. Mm, okay. So sluggers were local. Mm -hmm. Peaky blinders were local, regional, national. Extra extraterritorial. Absolutely. Yeah. And organized criminals in the 21st century are international. Mm. I'm give you an example. Yeah. Cocaine, for example. Yeah. Is a class A drug. Yeah. It's consumed often by, well, it's consumed not only by working class people, middle yeah. class people, is consumed by celebrities in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, cocaine ends up in a nightclub mm -hmm. in London, mm -hmm. Mayfair, Soho, wherever yeah. it may be, or even in Birmingham. That cocaine was not made in London. No. It was made in the remote parts of Colombia. But somehow it's ended from one side of the world to the other side of the world. Mm -hmm. And that's because of globalization, the connectedness that we have because of increased modes of technology and transportation. Mm. So crime is now very interconnected. It doesn't necessarily work in fixed terrain. Like it's like a it web. Did. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a web. It's now been facilitated as a, as a result of local and global networks of opportunity. Mm. That's what crime is. So that's, th that's, that's the difference between all three.